Good evening, you're watching Left, Right and Centre. I'm Nidhi Razdan. The murder of popular Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala in Punjab on Sunday is having huge political reverberations even now. The AAP government in the state is under fire for law and order, particularly in a sensitive border state. Musewala's killing in broad daylight came a day after the Bhagwan Man government announced it was scaling back or removing the security of over 400 individuals, including Musewala. However, Musewala did have his bulletproof car and two armed security men, though it's not clear why he didn't use them when he went out that day. Here are, in fact, some of the top developments in the story today. His father has filed an FIR in the murder case and said he witnessed Musewala's murder. Uh, it is still not clear why he didn't take a bulletproof car that was at his disposal or two of his police cars. He was shot at 30 times by 8 to 10 attackers in broad daylight and the killers then checked to ensure that the singer was in fact dead. Here are the top developments in the case. New details have emerged on the dramatic murder of the young Punjabi star Sidhu Musewala. The 28-year-old's father says he witnessed the attack. This CCTV video caught the two cars used by the attackers. The black SUV is the one being driven by the singer. In an FIR, the father says he saw his son leaving the residence without his own bulletproof car and two security personnel assigned to him. His father immediately drove behind him, but before he could alert the singer, the attacker struck. There were eight to ten of them. 30 shots were fired at Musewala and then they checked to make sure he was dead. The personnel from forensic team, they are examining, they are monitoring and collecting evidences. Now you can see these bullet marks that clearly suggest that indiscriminate firing uh, was done. His father suggests that when he left, the, when he left in his vehicle, in, his thar, in this Thar vehicle, uh, his father noticed that he's not going along with the security guards. So he started chasing him and by the time he could go alert him, he noticed that two, uh, two, two separate cars have waylaid him and he started firing at him. Musewala's father, Balkor Singh, demanded a probe by a sitting judge of the High Court into the murder, which the Chief Minister has accepted and requested the court. The police chief first blamed an inter-gang rivalry, angering the family and fans of the singer. एक inter-gang rivalry का केस लगता है. But then he backtracked after Chief Minister Bhagwant Pant sought a report. However, a gangster Goldie Brar has claimed responsibility for his killing. Goldie is linked to a jail gangster, Lawrence Bishnoi. इनके जो एक मैनेजर हैं, शगनप्रीत. इनका नाम आया था जो विक्की विक्की मिड्डू खेड़ा वाले मर्डर केस में वो अभी विदेश में ऑस्ट्रेलिया में निकल गए हैं लॉरेंस विष्णुई गैंग का इसमें हाथ है और इसकी जिम्मेदारी जो है वो लकी उन्होंने ले ली है उनकी गैंग के कनाडा से प्रोटेस्ट बाय बोथ फैंस एंड द ऑपोजिशन कंटिन्यू टुडे अगेंस्ट द आप गवर्नमेंट for scaling down the singer's security just the day before the murder as part of an overall review aaj siddhu musse wale ki jaan ke uski maut ke zimmewar bhagwant man aur arvind kejriwal aur unki gandi aur ghatiya rajniti punjab police has detained six people in the killing of siddhu musse wala case but what is more tragic is the mindless violence which has silenced one of the most promising and young voice of punjab in Mansa with camera person Ashwini Mehra, Mohammad Ghazali for NDTV. And uh, joining us now is Jasmine Shah, spokesperson for the Aam Aadmi Party. We have Jaiveer Shergil of the Congress with us, Mr. Satipal Jain, member of the BJP and former Lok Sabha MP, Yashwardhan Azad, former IPS officer and columnist in author Tavleen Singh, all with us today. Uh, Jasmine Shah, to you first. Does the Punjab government take responsibility for the fact that this, this does show an alarming uh, shall we say a snapshot of the law and order situation in the state when someone can be shot like this and murdered like this in broad daylight with as many as 30 rounds fired on their car? Uh, would, would, would your government take responsibility for that? Nidhi, first of all, let me say in unequivocal terms that we strictly condemn this gruesome murder. This is, uh, in, in any civilized society, there is no space for such kind of violence. And uh, the government has been quick to act in setting up an SIT, asking for a sitting judge of the high court to head the SIT, and to assure the people that uh, without wasting any time, we will make sure that the culprits are brought to justice. 
Having said that, Nidhi, let us not forget the era through which uh, Punjab has been going with the kind of political leadership it has had over the last decade. Be it drug mafia, be it gang wars. I mean, this is a tit for tat kind of a thing that has been going on in Punjab for years together. So to say that a new government, which has just come to power uh, just a few months back, is somehow responsible for the, the kind of scenario, obviously we do take uh, uh, you know, notice and we will make sure that these kind of incidents do not repeat. But there has been a steady degradation of the law and order scenario of Punjab over the past couple of decades. And that is the fallout that we are seeing today. I'm going, uh, to, uh, I'm going to get into that in just a moment, Jasmine Shah, but le just let me ask you a couple of other things. One, one is the issue of downgrading of security for certain people. Now, uh, in hindsight, would you say that this has been done rather recklessly? keeping political considerations in mind? I mean, what, what is the threat perception assessment that was actually done? Nidhi, first of all, let us be sure that uh, all your viewers are aware, and you, I'm glad you mentioned it in the beginning, that downgrading of security of certain people had nothing to do with this incident. Mr. Musewala did have two PSOs at his disposal. He chose not to travel with those PSOs. There was a, a, a bulletproof car that, was, uh, uh, that he had. He chose not to travel in that car. So if it was 10 people instead of two security people, it wouldn't have changed if the person decides to go uh, without them. Having said that, there is due process. You know, over, over the past several years, there is this culture in our politics that if you see 20 men, uh, if you are a senior politician, you want 20 people around you. If you're a junior politician, you want 10 people around you. That is not how uh, a police should be deployed. You know, it is based on threat and risk perception. And there is due process after which can we I had ask, to rush sorry, into making can, this can decision. Can I ask for a clarification just how much uh, how, how much was uh, Sidhu Musewala's security downgraded? Uh, as you said, he might have had 10 guards before, but now he had two, but he still had, had them. Is that correct? That's right. He had two, he had two PSOs that were assigned and to who, him. And how many people did he have assigned to him before this? Nidhi, I'm not aware about that, but of course, as I said, there is due process. It, we didn't jump into deciding this. The government hasn't been in power for a few months now. There is due process after which this but, decision was but taken. But can I say, uh, Jasmine Shah, that you may you may not have, you know, sort of, you're saying there's due process, but it's also a fact that this list of the people whose security was either being withdrawn or scaled back found its way into the media. It found its way onto WhatsApp groups, including WhatsApp groups run by the Aam Aadmi Party, which journalists are also a part of. Is, is that a responsible? Is that responsible? Is, is, is that not sort of, uh, you know, uh, that, that list is flashing uh, on the screens. We don't want to zoom in on all the names except Sidhu Musewala's. But the point is that uh, you, you put them directly at risk because you wanted to tom tom Maybe. that, you, you know, you're withdrawing people's security. Not at all, Niti. That has never been the intention of the government. We followed due process and let us again come back to the fact that today this incident, this gruesome incident has happened not because of the decision by the AAP government to withdraw the security. You know, in this case, it is an outcome of a culture of gang war that has been going on. And we have to ask the question, why is Punjab going through this phase? Let's not link okay. the two incidents because we let know that in this case, it chose to disregard the security cover available. So let me, let me take this question to Jaivi Shergil because the, the target seems to be directly the Congress government before this in Punjab, Jaivi. Uh, does the AAP have a point that it can't all, the, the entire blame of deteriorating law and order can't just be placed on their doorstep? They just came to power a few months ago? <coughs> Uh, Nidhi, I hope you, you can hear me loud uh, yes. and clear because I'm patching in from a... Uh, 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 right, yes. Okay, firstly, Nidhi, let's not forget, Aam Aadmi Party came to power promising to transform a winter of discontent into a glorious summer. Instead, Punjab and Punjabis are witnessing a naked dance of lawlessness, death and crime. I was listening to the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson. Siddhu Musewala incident is shocking, spine-chilling, but it is not one incident. Nidhi, since Aam Aadmi Party has come to power, law and order is crumbling like a pack of cards. I have in front of me a list of 40 <laughs> such episodes. Uh, starting from March 15, a Kabaddi player was shot dead, Sandeep Singh Ambiyan. Another Kabaddi player shot dead on 7th April, Dharminder Singh. Uh, violent clashes in Patiala, RPG attack on Punjab police, then Sidhu Musewala shot dead. So this entire incident proves that... Today, Punjab is witnessing a disturbing and a worrying pattern of lawlessness, 
which is giving a sense of paranoia and fear to punjabis now aam aadmi party spokesperson used a very valid word called era yes i am sitting talking to you in jalandhar punjab there is a paranoia fear and a question in mind of every punjabi is punjab headed for dark times again 19 murders in the first 21 days of aam aadmi party coming to power nidhi now look at the approach of the aam aadmi party what is being said today gang war what are the words today why did he go without a bulletproof car is the citizen who does not have a bullet car, a proof car a certain target for uh, gangsters clear answer is no high court has given a rap on the nuts of the aam aadmi party why did you curtail the security mr bhagwant man is seeking a clarification from the dgp and also saying oh this was not in my knowledge can a chief minister be aloof when 424 people security is controlled curtailed clear answer is no nidhi the question today i am asking is now aam aadmi party is saying vip culture jo junior politician senior sure. politician on your show i want to ask a question to the aam aadmi party just 130 seconds how many punjab police personnel are deployed outside kejriwal's house how many punjab police personnel are with aap mlas how many punjab police personnel are with office bearers of aam aadmi party deployed in delhi how many punjab police you're saying they're deployed in delhi jasmin shah you want to quickly respond to that before i take this to the rest of the panel please Nidhi, this is all just a big lie, and leave it to the Congress to make you know a mockery of an incident like this, and alleging that it is because some grand conspiracy that AAP has. Absolutely no truth to the fact that you know, uh, hearing you, it will feel that half of the Punjab police is in there. Please do not ridicule a very serious incident that has happened, and let's not talk about mm. your rule, you know, which has seen uh, 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 the drug mafia flourish in Punjab today. Mm. Why are we going? I mean, there is. Let's ask the question. what is the youth of punjab staring at you know there is unemployment there is drugs there is this you know general culture of of guns and and you say you have nothing to do with it what punjab needed was an honest government they have elected an honest government and we will make sure that within days the culprits are brought to justice all right let me let me get mr like satyapal jain into this mr satyapal jain is there a real concern i know you're a bjp leader as well i just ask you to take a step back as a law officer also that is there a real Uh, real concern about the security situation in the state from your perspective uh, uh especially because it is a border state and and you know all kinds of forces will seek to exploit this uh madam if you analyze the situation in punjab during the last 40 50 years you will come to know that it was a small incident or single incident in 1978 when few people were murdered which ultimately led to the law and order situation in the entire state extremism came hundreds and hundreds of people were murdered after that today's incident and some incidents of murder during the last few days have once again caused a sense of fear sick causes among all the punjabis that are we heading towards that situation is this incident only an incident in isolation or because of the incident which have taken place attack on the police headquarter murder of the sho murder of mr musiwala and all that are these the incidents which are ultimately leading to that situation which ultimately ruined punjab for 30 40 years number 1 number 2 it is i admit very fairly it is the prerogative of the state government to analyze the threat perception to reduce the security to increase the security it is within their purview law and order is a state subject but the issue which was raised in the high court today also i represented the government in that case government of india the question is when you reduce the security and you make it uh, a public document that look here we have reduced exactly. the security of this 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 are you not putting a i mean a a, a signal giving a signal to those yeah, who are a target on their backs incident and giving an indication that look here now the man is alone two four five psos are with him i told the high court that the state government biggest blunder they committed was they issued statements that we have reduced this security of so 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 many people and they in fact mr if i remember it correctly the cm took the credit also for that that it is the aam aadmi party which has curtailed the security of any people i am not doubting their right but please don't publicize these things don't make them public whether you have increased or decreased the security third it's very unfortunate that many rumors are going around after this incident with full sense of responsibility the impression which is going is that the people who have come in power in punjab don't have the experience don't have the guts to control the situation they are not able to control even corruption also their own minister has been caught doing corruption 
their own, uh, the one of the leaders has been murdered, police has been attacked. So therefore, it has created a sense of panic, fierce causes among all sections of Punjabis, maybe okay. of any Let, I'm party. going to take that back to the AAP in just a moment, but Mr. Azad, as a former uh, IPS officer, senior officer, uh, what what would you say you know about the processes that have been followed here and the point that mr jain was making that i flagged earlier also about publicizing these lists and and letting the world know who has security who doesn't who's has been downgraded who doesn't the question is which politician and of which party does not get involved in police matters and this is exactly what is happening if you talk about security categorization, this is a purely professional exercise. And because politicians want to play on the enforcement security agencies, the problem lies there. One, if there is so many questions which have been unanswered, first, what category was he given at all? And what category by which he was reduced? If you look at the order, then you'll find out that they'll say, because of it happens every year, that you withdraw security from some because of law and considerations. That is right. It happens in all the states that for an important law and order issue, you withdraw security. But in this case, there was a serious mistake because there was a serious threat perception and which the government was aware of. So that is why in that respect, there has been a serious mistake. But number two, if protectee himself does not take the security cover, for example, he did not go out with a bulletproof car, he did not take the security men himself. So whether he had a security or whether he had a security too, it doesn't matter. My third point is, what is happening today is that the entire security exercise has been criticized. Security given to people, for example, I would have been happy if AAP would have said that this is security assigned to the MLAs, MPs, there are so many of them who have no threat protection at all. But the ominous sign, Nidhi, my last point in this case is that here is a case of targeted killing. It means that it is a part of the organized crime. In a border state, so in whatever respect is a very serious issue. A judicial commission will not help. What will help is that the intelligence agency, security agencies get together and find out the root cause, try to get the criminals, but can't escape. Okay, so you're flagging the, the organized crime angle as, as, as one that is particularly serious. Tavleen Singh, to weigh in on this, uh, politically, how do you look at this impacting the AAP government in Punjab? Now, you heard Mr. Jain there say from the BJP that, you know, this shows their inexperience, that there is an impression that's going out that, uh, you know, these 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 new people have come, they, they don't know what they're doing, uh, they're not able to handle law and order in a new state. Now, is that entirely fair criticism? Is that is that because the AAP is a threat to the BJP? That's why they're saying it? Or is there some truth to it in the way all of this was handled? You know, all violence in Punjab is murky, but let's let's admit that the law and order situation could not have deteriorated in the past few months alone. There has been a history of violence in Punjab of uncontrolled drug uh, peddling and, and, you know, all sorts of arms coming across the border. Uh, Amarinda Singh, when he was chief minister, red flagged it a hundred times when he came to Delhi. There's that. But you know what is worrying me more than this particular incident or the other incidents of violence is this, this idea that Punjab is being ruled from Delhi, that there is interference from Cage Rival, that he pulls in the Punjab police to arrest what was his name the other day. And that, you know, Kumar Vishwas suddenly had Punjab police turning up at their doorstep. Now, the reason why that worries me the most is, you know, I was in Punjab when when at the height of its uh, violence. And at that point as well, it was because there was interference from Delhi in the running of Punjab that the original problem started. There was political interference from Indira Gandhi, from Zell Singh, so that the chief minister was not his own master, right? I mean, of course, this man is inexperienced, but 
what is happening could not have suddenly happened overnight. And what we really must look at is the bigger canvas, which is that is Kejriwal interfering in, in the politics and in the policing of Punjab, because that is very dangerous. I, I want to take that straight to Jasmine Shah. Is Arvind Kejriwal right. also the Punjab chief minister, Jasmine Shah? Maybe nothing could be farther from truth. The reality is that this is a convenient political narrative that both BJP and Congress are fronting because they have no answer to the way the Punjab government has, uh, you know, begun to work on all the issues of the people, be it the anti-corruption helpline, the work for the farmers, the youth, bringing investment to the state. So, you know, they both BJP and Congress joined together to put the bogey of Khalistan that somehow, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Kejriwal wants to divide Punjab. I mean, all nonsense was being peddled. Today, no, it's the same that. thought. No, no, I'm not, uh, Tavlinji, I'm not responding to you. I'm responding more to the political narrative that is being pushed, which, uh, you know, you have a right to your opinion. But I'm saying it's very convenient to say these things because, uh, you know, a very recent example, Nidhi. I'll give you one example. The health minister of Punjab was sacked by CM Bhagwant Man. If all these... Uh, uh, you know, if, if there was even an iota of truth in anything like this, do you think a sitting minister can be sacked? No party has done this in its history that a sitting CM sacks a sitting health minister. That's because of our commitment to uh, no, our values. What value the main sure thing has no raised is a different can point. I, and this is a point I, that has been repeatedly raised, Jasmine Shah, in the last yes, few months, only which is that Arvind Kejriwal is the one that's office. calling the shots. Bhagwant Man doesn't even speak to the media now. He used to once upon a time. And you know, no one is really allowed, in a sense, to talk on Punjab anymore. The CM certainly Nidhi, doesn't seem Nidhi, to be. Nidhi, Mr. Modi doesn't speak to media. So somebody else you is want to follow uh, deciding that on behalf of Mr. Modi? No, absolutely not. But I'm saying what kind of uh, uh, you know facts, these correlations don't work that way. It is very clear for the people of Punjab that it is CM Bhagwant Man who is working from them day and night. Decisions after decisions have been made and Punjab is on the path Can to progress. Can I ask you this? Obviously, Do the you think it was a mistake? Uh, Jasmine Shah, was it a mistake to let out this list of security, uh, the, the details of whose security was withdrawn or being scaled down? Was that a mistake? Should that not have happened? Would you admit that? Nidhi, again, the, the point today on the table is that why did Mr. Uh, Musewala disregard his security cover? No, but and my why question is without... different. My question is different, yes or no. Was it wrong for this uh, for this list to be no, leaked so this and li put on WhatsApp Nidhi. groups, including Nidhi. of the Aam Aadmi Party? No, so who has put this? I am not aware. The government only announced that we are cutting back on this VIP culture. Now, this entire detail list, who has put it, I'm not uh, aware of. And I'm sure this will be a matter of investigation, along with the fact that whether any reassessment is required, because obviously the government is acting upon this incident. And we want to make sure nothing like this happens. But to disregard the history of Punjab and what has happened in the last 10 years leading up to the AAP rule, that, that is not fair. Fair enough. Well. Jaivi Shergir, quick last comment. Nidhi, firstly, the chief minister has a sense of misplaced priorities. He's behaving like a parchar mantri of Kejriwal than the Mukh mantri of Punjab. Number two, let's stop this uh, trapping of honest government. Seven out of 12 art ministers face serial criminal charges on them. Number three, you have to ask, was this a political audit of security withdrawal or a, a serious threat audit? Number four, the viewers and the people Punjabis are asking, why since AAP has come to power, the confidence of gangsters to kill in broad daylight, terrorists to fire RPGs, violent groups to clash has suddenly risen in the past two and a half months. I have grown up in Punjab, grown up during peak of terrorism. I don't remember when in the last time Punjab saw 19 murders in the span of 21 days. I don't remember that time. I'm so sorry to uh, uh, say that. Let me get a quick last word from Tavleen Singh on this. Tavleen Chief Singh, Minister is your, is your concern when it comes to Pun Punjab, you know, the situation in Punjab? Mr. Yashwardhan Azad says it's organized crime. Are you worried about that? Are you worried about, the, you know, this whole Khalistan thing rearing its head again? What is worrying you? Uh, certainly not Khalistan. Uh, uh, the, the Khalistan uh, movement actually really got steam after Operation Blue Star. And it was because, you know, of the attack on the Golden Temple. Uh, I don't think that there is any real Khalistan movement, except in maybe Canada, certainly not in Punjab. But I think that the organized crime, I mean, uh, you know, that is a worry because of the whole drug 
uh, you know, drugs, arms across the border. It's a very, very murky, uh, you know, uh, situation, law and order wise. But it did not happen in the past three months. Yes. It has been brewing for years. And neither the Congress party nor the BJP managed to control it or do anything about it. Don't forget that when Amarinder Singh became chief minister, he promised that he would take action, uh, you know, against it. And, and nothing was done. So, you know, I mean, right. it's a very well, old well, story. It's, it's, it's a very sensitive situation unfolding in the state there. Thank you uh, to everyone for joining us tonight on this. Lots of social media reactions coming in tonight as well on coup. We have Tushar who's written in asking whether this is a total failure of the AAP in Punjab. Um, Aparachit has said that security should not be taken away from those for whom it's necessary. The Punjab government should have done a proper review before removing this security. Well, that's all going to be part of a probe now. Thanks very much for watching Left, Right and Centre.